Alright, so today we're working on an A1211 that has no backlight. 99% of the time, L9450 is blown if you replace the inverter wire, the screen, and the inverter board and you still have no backlight. And it'll on occasion be physically burnt and really obvious. Put some captain tape over the wires here. I'm using one of my fucked boards that has a backlight but nothing else. It preheated a little bit. slide you right off. Okay, put this piece of shit aside. solder and then just like keep the eye on there waiting. You add solder, go back and forth and then quickly wick it away. You want the excess solder to wind up on your solder tip so that when you look at that you see a perfectly formed ball on each side filled with flux that's not going to get all crusty when you heat it again to put the surface mount component back on the pad. Don't just keep your eye on there after putting the solder and hope that it eventually sticks. That's what people new to this do and that's how, that's how bad solder joints are formed. solder starts to get brighter, it's warm. I hear I'm having a case of that whole magnetic tweezers thing, which is driving me nuts. It really sucks when your tweezers are too magnetic because the, the component is so light that gravity is not going to pull it to the board. What would this be if I couldn't enjoy the aftermath? I'm ashamed to say on an H1211, I don't know how to manually short it to power it on. And they don't understand, he's got palm oil Yes, he's down there, everywhere he's in.
Come on, don't make me look bad. Go green. And when you turn it on, you'll either see fire or a backlight. No fire. But we have a backlight. If you don't believe me. So, trust me, um, you should be happy every time it doesn't end in fire. So, H1211 machine, no backlight on the screen, on the cable, and on the inverter board. She's changed everything and nothing's worked. Check L9450.